Uh, Cameron, appreciate the time. Tell me what comes to mind when, when you when I say Mackay Becton. What do you think of? Yeah, yeah, a, a powerful human being. Um, I think he's three sixty four right now, six seven. Uh, he was pushing three seventy during the season. Um, but just a very physical guy. He loves the physical side of the game, loves to throw people to the ground. I think you see even on tape, he loves to dive on people while they're trying to get up off the ground. Um, just kind of who he is. He was he was absolutely dominant last year for Louisville um, and a big part of the reason their offense fit so well. What about um, the development? You know, we, we've heard he started 33 games, started for three years there. Have you kind of seen him grow into – into the player that he is now, one of the top-ranked tackles um, in this draft class? Yeah, I think what you see, what you hear from a lot of people, obviously, when he was a freshman, he played right tackle. Um, and he's a preseason, he was a, a freshman All-American at right tackle, moved to left. Um, and I think the biggest difference from what you, you talk to coaching staff and people around him this year is just how much more he's finishing plays. Um, he was just, it's just, he was just absolutely dominant in the sense of like, if somebody was in front of him, he was taking them out of the play. You see him taking to the sidelines, um, taking completely off the screen. Sometimes um, that's just, he took that to another level. It started well against an, an opener against Notre Dame. Um, and then really elevated it each week, had a really good game against Clemson um, and a dominant game against Syracuse. Um, but he did, I think that's where he got better the most last year was just how physically imposing he could be against a defender. As a beat reporter, you get a sense of what type of, of guys these guys are. Tell me a little bit about him, the type of kid he is, the type of guy he is, and and um, what does he have that that drive to be really good, a really yeah. good football player? Yeah, I think so. I think that's one thing nobody really questions with Makai is his work work ethic. Uh, he came into the year, and to my surprise, wasn't a preseason All ACC honoree, and I think he took that to heart. Um, really got to work, and I like you, like you just showed, he's that. Jacob blocking trophy award winner, best off the line in the ACC. Um, he wants to be the best player on the field in every every snap, every game. Wants to win. Um, and I tell this story to a lot of people. I tweet it sometime during the middle of the season um, or the back half of the season. He got hurt at Miami. Um, and then the whole week, people were trying to figure out if he was going to play or not. And we were interviewing his backup. And it's pouring rain outside. Um, and everybody else is inside in the locker room already. Makai is standing outside supporting his teammate who's doing his first really – real interview with the media um I, that, that's a cool story I like I, I don't think anybody has a bad thing to say about my guy I think he's he's great kid and the one question that um, some of the quote-unquote draft experts say is and really it's the only thing they can say the the only question a lot of them have is can he stay at that 365 weight and not you know balloon up and, and get even a little bit bigger I mean he's six seven that's a big yeah. guy do you have any of those concerns, or or is that not something that knowing who he is that shouldn't really be a concern? Yeah, not really. I think obviously with all the linemen in general, you have that concern at times, especially when there's a long off season. Um, but I don't have that concern. He he's been working hard really since this coaches have got here last December um, to really kind of cut that weight. And if you look at him, that three sixty four doesn't look like fat. It's not jiggling. It's solid weight for him. So I would imagine he stays somewhere around that three sixty four under 370 um, because I think he knows he needs to say at that to be at his best when he's on the field.